Hey, bad bitch, four pockets full, got him calling me his little baby. Ride it good, drive a nigga crazy. For eight miles, like Slim Shay. Full throttle, bitch, I'm never late. Now he underwater, like he in the Navy. Ex nigga dropped a diss on me, I be mad too if my bitch made me. I am focused. What's up, y'all? It's Sierra Monet, aka Barbie Girl C. And I'm back with another video. Cue the intro. I'm a money making bitch, no cap, ayy. About my walk, I ain't even gotta fuck him. He hey, just look how hey, I talk. Uh, I'm embracing the fake, I'm accepting the hate. If I wasn't number one, they wouldn't come from my place. Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing like a simple look, uh, the simple classic wing liner red lip look. Uh, I'm gonna do that, but before I get into that, I want to explain to you guys the Juvia's Place products that I used in my video that I posted yesterday. So yesterday I did a video dedicated to Juvia's Place, um, their I Am Magic collection. I got the foundation, concealer, and also the setting powder. So I just wanted to come and recap with you guys about that video. Um, so yesterday I left my makeup on for a few hours. I didn't go anywhere, but I did leave it on. I just want to point out that I didn't use any type of setting spray after I finished just for the simple fact that I knew I was gonna be in the house so I was just like why like for what so the makeup lasted really well for the few hours that I had it on I did start to see that my face was kinda sorta getting oily around my nose area but that's pretty much it and usually I get really oily like in my nose area under my eyes will get really oily and so on and so forth but with this uh, foundation in particular and the fact that I didn't use a setting spray and the only thing that really got oily was around my nose I give it a thumbs up so yeah everything was really nice the setting powder went on so smooth it didn't have no type of smell to it or nothing it was really good the foundation is extremely full coverage and you can get away with wearing one coat but since I'm extra I put two coats on in the video um, I'm about to use the products again today so you guys can see hopefully the camera quality is okay hopefully you guys can get you know a good look at what I'm doing and what these products are doing for my face so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about that the concealer was really nice everything has really nice has a really nice consistency to it um, the setting powder I wish it was a little bit bigger but I feel like this will last me a while because it is a smaller setting powder but then again I don't know I kind of do like this size for the simple fact that I didn't really know what to expect from it but so yeah like I said I'm gonna be using these products again in this video today make sure you guys go check out my first impressions of these GVS Place products I really love them I think this is gonna be my go-to um, you know skin everything so I have the foundation in the shade Kampala I don't know if I'm saying that right but hopefully I am and this is the number 340 the foundation is a velvety matte formula which is one of my faves I have the eye magic concealer and this is in the shade 13 and then my setting powder is in the shade Sahara if you guys didn't catch that in yesterday's video which you should go check it out but enough for all the talking I'm gonna get right on into the look like I said we're gonna be doing a bold wing red lip classic look um, I'm thinking about making this into like a highlight and contour video but I'm not really sure so we'll see what the title is when I post it because Woo, child, I don't know. But I'm going to get right on into the video. I don't know if I'm going to be talking throughout this video, which is the reason why I decided to explain everything right now. I know that I said if I come back, uh, it will probably be because I something bad happened with the products. Nothing bad happened with the products besides the fact that my nose started getting oily after a few hours. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It's not like I had to keep blotting my face or anything like that because I've had foundations where it would be like the next hour I'm a grease bucket like so yeah let's get right on into the video enough talking don't forget to like comment and subscribe 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 and check out my other videos if you haven't already and yeah 
Okay, so of course I don't have a hair tie right now, so I'm just gonna pin this. Let me just pin it back. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So first I'm gonna start by priming my face and oop, I'm gonna use this baby skin primer to do so. How's everyone's life going though? No, like let me know in the comments below. How y'all feeling today? Whatever day you might be watching this video. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my wing. I'm going to take my Maybelline New York Eye Studios Blackest Black Eyebrow Gel. I say eyebrow gel. <laughs> Eyeliner gel. And I'm just going to... Ow! Ooh, that dropped on my ankle. I'm going to just use that to create my wing. That's not what I'm going to do first. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is take my Juvia's Place Concealer and I'm just going to put that on my lid and also carve out my eyebrows with this. Y'all, I know this is random, but if you have any, like, show or movie suggestions that I can watch on Netflix, let me know. Because I need something else, something new to watch. And I know that was very random, but like I said, just comment below. Alright, so now after I did that, I'm going to take my setting powder, like I said, it's in the shape Sahara, and I'm going to use that just to um, set all that concealer that I just put on, because I'm not going to put on any eyeshadows or anything, I'm just going to do the wing. Okay. So now that that's finished, I'm going to take my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm just going to create a wing. And I'm using like a small angle brush to do so. I just want to point out that using gel liner is probably like the easiest way that you're going to create a wing. Any gel liner. And from my makeup looks, y'all can already tell I don't do many wings, so I'm not a professional, but if I can do it this easy with this gel liner, y'all can too. to be big and dramatic. And y'all don't worry about if the bottom is like not right because we're gonna go back in and clean that up. Just make sure the top of your wing is really smooth. And either. So I'm going to go in and do my other eye before I clean that up. And actually, I might. I'd be a little dramatic sometimes. So 
So I'm now going to go in with my concealer again and just clean this up because this one's a hot mess right now and we don't want to go outside looking a hot mess. So let's just take some concealer and put it on the back of my hand. Then I'm going to go into my brush and this is the same brush that I use to do my eyebrows with. Okay, you guys, so I put my eyelashes on. You know the drill. Ignore the glue. We know it's going to dry. We know it's going to dry clear, so we're going to just ignore that. So now I'm going to go into my foundation. And like I said earlier, I'm using the shade Campala, which is number 340. Right? Yep, 340. This foundation is really the truth, like... If you're thinking about getting this foundation but you're not sure, girl, especially if you like full coverage, I definitely recommend this. And I messed up my wing. It's all good though. You can always fix it. <sighs> okay y'all so hopefully the camera is focused on me because um, I don't even know what's going on I don't even know what's going on with my little uh, laptop where I can see the screen on my laptop but I don't have the little flip out thing so I'm just I'm over it at this point <laughs> like I'm over it I'm gonna just keep it moving um, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place I'm gonna use my GV's Place Concealer and this is in the shade 13 and I'm just gonna use that to highlight my face. And hopefully I'm in focus and hopefully you guys can see it because like I said, I'm over it. I really feel like a little goes a long way with all of these products, but I'm just extra. I'm literally extra with everything, so I just go big or go home. I'm blending this out with my Real Techniques uh, setting brush. I really hope I'm in focus, because if not, that'll suck. It's going to suck so bad. If you guys haven't noticed, I started doing my eyebrows last. And I know I said in a video before that, you know, order doesn't really matter. It all depends on... I say that it depends on how fast you want to finish your makeup. Because if you do your eyebrows last, you won't have to worry about, you know getting the concealer all on your eyebrows or getting foundation on your eyebrows and you can actually make sure everything is blended this just goes to anybody who thinks YouTube is easy it's not I've had problems uploading my videos like literally every all of the videos that I've recently posted there has been something that happens like just something and I just be wanting to be like you know what forget this but 
here we are. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my setting powder, which is in the shade Sahara for the third time that I'm saying that. <laughs> I'm going to go in and I'm going to contour with my Black Radiance True Complexions Contour Palette. And first I'm taking the Sculpt Shade to just bring some color back into my face. And then I'm going to take the actual contour shade to, you know, contour. And if you guys didn't know, that's the difference between bronzing and contouring. Bronzing is just, you know, adding some dimension and color back into your face. And contour is the actual snatching. <laughs> If you like to go for that really snatched look, you can take your powder and, you know, set underneath of what you just contoured. But I'm not going to do that because I am not a big fan of that type of contour. Um, I like mine to look a little bit natural since I already wear a lot of makeup. Um, I'm going to take my blush palette. BH Cosmetics, y'all should know this already. From like literally every video. I didn't even used to be a blush girl, but as I got more into makeup, I started loving blush. Like, y'all won't understand. Okay, now for my highlight, I'm gonna take this Wet and Wild highlight powder I'm not sure what color this is because I lost the top obviously oh wait here it is this is 321B precious petals so I'm going to be using that to uh, highlight my face Okay, so I'm going to go do my eyebrows and then I'm going to add some bottom lashes and some liner to my bottom eyelids, eyelashes, eyes. I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyebrows are done and I put on some bottom lashes off camera. If you guys hear like a lawnmower or something in the background, of course they want to be cutting grass when I'm almost done. Like... And they keep walking right past the window too, which is really kind of blowing me a little bit. And I was kind of getting blown while I was doing my eyebrows and all that. But we just gonna keep it going because we're almost done. The last thing I'm gonna do is lip. And I'm going to use this matte red color from MAC. Really? I'm gonna use this matte red color from MAC and I'm going to line my lips with a brown. I'm actually gonna use a powder cause my pencils are not sharpened and I don't feel like finding a pencil sharpener. So I'm just gonna line my lips with the brown powder. And now I'm going to go in and just apply the lipstick. Okay guys, so this is the final look of my, whatever you want to call this look, my bold liner red lip classic look, everyday highlight contour 
whatever you want to call it I don't know because it could be all of the above <laughs> But, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and also a comment below. Hit the subscribe button to see new videos from me. I post, I'm trying to post more frequently and I feel like I've been doing a good job. So I'm going to just keep that same energy, okay? But y'all just return that energy with the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. So that way you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Uh, if you have any video requests, make sure you leave them below and I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces!